Hi, Rachel here from the NYC Godcast, where we offer Wacky Wisdom Weekly from God's Word. On today's episode, we're kicking off a new series and talking about the joy of heaven coming down to earth. So it may be a shocker, mm. but I'm a little bit of a Christmas lover. You had your Christmas decorations up November 1st. I did. Mm. And that was hard to wait that long. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Did so, you know that there's a city in Maine, you have to have your, de- your decorations down by like January, January 3rd yeah. or I'm, something no, like that. It's like, it's like the 14th. Yeah. I've heard but, of that. I would hate to be the police officer, just like. <laughs> Do you, I would change it into like. Down? I changed it to like Valentine's Day <laughs> decorations. Sorry, sir, that's what they are. <laughs> Uh, some people get sad, a seasonal affective disorder. It's me. This time of year, but I get whatever the opposite of that is. Head. Oh. Wow. wow. You came up with that so fast. <laughs> I sat there for a few minutes trying to go with <laughs> Some people get head. <laughs> uh, I love... I love this time of year. The, mm-hmm. the first snow we had just a few weeks ago, me and the kids were, were so, they all like Carrie and Callan came running, like, it's snowing. And we were so excited and it didn't stick. But yeah, no, we were it, like literally, literally we just went yeah, away. No, but it was still, it's, it's not all pretty. day. Yeah, it's not all day at our house. But there's just something about this time of year that it just, it brings me so much joy. Mm. We've talked about joy a few different times um, in different series on this podcast, but this month we're going to look at it one more time. Just one more. I don't know about you, but I've been listening to Christmas music for a month already. Mm-hmm. As Jamie said, we put our tree up November 1st, and you can't have a house decorated with Christmas stuff and not listen to Christmas music. I think that We wait till the 101.5 starts playing they, they're, it. They're playing I know they are playing yeah, it. Yeah, so it's time. Mm. George of the World is a pretty well-known Christmas song, mm-hmm. but like a lot of songs, I don't think we really stop and think about what it's actually talking about, what it mm-hmm. actually means. Yeah. Um, when looking up joy in the Christmas story, we can find it in a few different places. Matthew 2.10, Luke 1.14, and Luke 2.10. Mm-hmm. Both Matthew 2.10 and Luke 2.10. Oh, I got those right. What's the chances? It's both 2.10. <laughs> 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 um, they, Maybe. It's uh, fine. Yeah, well, you can, you can fact check me later. Yeah. <laughs> um, they both say with great joy. When they heard of Jesus' birth, or they even just saw the star, they were filled with great joy. The joy of heaven was brought down to earth, and it changed everything. We, too, should be changed and have great joy, not just when it's Christmas time, when there's snow and all the fun things, Mm -hmm. but all year round. Though this time of year brings me much joy, true joy only comes from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God sent his one and only son, Jesus, as a precious little baby. I'm sure that baby brought Mary and Joseph much joy, Mm -hmm. but it also brought joy to the whole entire world. Yep. Some people love giving gifts, and that brings them joy. Mm-hmm. Some people love getting gifts, and that yep. brings them joy. Yep. Um, but the greatest gift we can ever receive or even share is accepting Jesus into our lives and receiving his joy mm-hmm. that won't go away. Mm-hmm. It's not just for the moment of watching someone open a gift or the moment that you're opening a gift. Mm-hmm. His gift is eternal joy, but it only comes from him. Yep. Uh, especially this time of year, it's easy to find t- joy. Yeah. I like to mm-hmm. say joy because I think it's more happiness. Um, and a lot of different things, whether it's time with family, mm-hmm. exchanging gifts, making Christmas cookies, watching Christmas movie- movies, or all the other things you might do. I challenge you this year to stop and really think of the joy that was sent from God. Mm. Um, just like he sent his son down, he too sends the joy down. Like Jesus was that joy. Yeah. Yes. And so take the time this month to dwell on his joy inside of you slow down enough to share that joy with other people. You know, I've noticed in my life, um, you you put so much hype on something. And then a lot of times when you get there, because you're putting this expectation, this, like whatever it is, it, it lets you down. Mm-hmm. Like the, I'll be happy because I can do cookies with my mom. And then, you know, it gets a, it's a stressful day, something happens or whatever. And you're like, well, that day was ruined. Yeah. And that's where your joy, that's where your joy is coming from. That's just, it's ashes it's It's nothing yeah it's a it's a worldly joy Mm -hmm. which is actually just happiness Mm -hmm. it's a you you know it's a theoretical joy because it's not something that like yes chris even if you had a good day and you had the christmas cookies that time ends right yeah you know you all have that memory forever but you like the actual joy that it produces can only be there for so long right i i think that to me personally Mm -hmm. like 
I really separate joy and happiness. Yeah. Because to me, joy only comes from yes. God. And yes. happiness would be the Aldi's version <laughs> of joy here on earth because yeah. it, it's temporary. Yeah. It's dependent upon circumstances. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like your happiness and joy is like it has to go exactly the way you pre-planned it to go or yep. else it's not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like like you said, you get disappointed yep. and we can never be disappointed in joy yep. because it's heavenly. Yep. But also, too, like so when the cookies are done, mm-hmm. your your joy is done or when, you know, if it didn't go the way you wanted, it fades. You don't have that with God. When yeah. when your joy comes from Jesus, it's everlasting and it doesn't fade and doesn't go away because yeah. he remains the same and he will always meet your expectations. Yep. Um, You'll enjoy your Christmas season a lot more if you realize that your joy comes from him and you're not trying to put you're not trying to put God's placing somebody else in God's spot because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's I, that's a problem in most things in life is that we're putting other things, worldly things, things that we think will do the job in God's spot when God is the only one that can be in that. Spot. Well, and that uh, so when God made us like we were made to love and worship mm-hmm. him. So. If you don't have God in your life, you're basically incomplete. Yep. And a lot of worldly people, they recognize the incompleteness. Yep. And they try to fill it with mm-hmm. other things, money, relationships, jobs. And, like, it looks innocent on the surface. You know what yep. I mean? Like, a person is thinking, like, I need to get married and have kids. Yeah. That'll make me happy. That'll bring me yep. joy. Yep. You know what I mean? And when you're having that, you know, bad day when mm-hmm. your spouse is on your last nerve and your kids are opting to, you know, opt out of the listen to mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like like your joy and happiness yeah. is the exact opposite yeah. of it. Where uh, joy from God is like when you find yourself happy for no apparent reason. You yep. know what I mean? Like you're just smiling ear to ear and people looking at you like, yeah. what is wrong with you? Yeah. You know? And... Uh, Satan has really tricked the world into thinking eternal joy is not only impossible, but he also has it where if you have joy from God, you're really, really weird. Yeah. You know you know what I mean? Like no yep. one wants to be around yep. you because you're it happens all the you're time. You're peculiar. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like why are you always in a good mood? What's, what is wrong with you? Yeah. It's like. I don't know what's um, wrong with you that yeah, you yeah. can't that you're always in a grumpy mood. Listen, I, I'm just I mean, having a good time over here. <laughs> exactly. Yes, there's a party going on up here. You just don't know it. <laughs> you too can have your own party. You can't. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful that God gave us His Son. Yeah. It's very easy to get caught up in all the materialistic things, especially this time of year. But yeah. like James said, those will all go away. He is our lasting joy. True, genuine joy only comes from Him. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 So the considerable quote, I was trying not to quote her, but she popped up. So I was like, well, I I feel like I always quote her. I mean, that's just your person. It's my person. So who can add to Christmas? The perfect motive is that God so loved the world. The perfect gift is that he gave his only son Mm. by Corey Ten Boom. Mm. And our featured content is Joy to the World. Phil Wickham, you had it backwards. It it got me. I was like, why aren't you reading it? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The answer to last week's trivia uh, what was Jacob's favorite dish? Is that what yeah? It's his favorite Thanksgiving dish. Yeah. yeah, the answer was is I'm assuming still yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. C stuffing. Hopefully, it stays the same Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this week's trivia was when was Joy to the World written? Mm. The song. Uh, a I'm just gonna. I'm not good with numbers. It's gonna be. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a mess. You're gonna say the wrong one. <laughs> There's not gonna be. They're gonna be answer. like, <laughs> none of these are right. <laughs> a sixteen eighteen, B seventeen nineteen, C eighteen twenty, or D nineteen twenty one. All right, got through that. There we go. All right, happy birthday to Gary Joe Gagne, Max Daughtry, mm-hmm. Corey Hatfield, Matthew Richardson, Jeff Bradford, Greg Steyer, Austin Pons, and Emma Webb. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. We should really check in with Josh. (laughs) Are you okay? (laughs) We will have mail eventually. Yes. Again, we said like, what was it, like two weeks ago? We're like, it's going to be a a giant pile. We're just going to read it. Maybe we'll invite Chuck and have him read them. There we go. We're going to have a mail episode. Although most of it comes from him, but it's fine. Then he knows how to read it. Yeah. Yeah. He can pronounce everything. (laughs) He can explain things. We have questions sometimes. (laughs) What do you mean by that? Uh, All right. Well... Stay tuned for next week and thanks. Oh, make sure you 
like, like comment, subscribe. I, it's not on there. I know. It's right. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Whatever you do on social yeah. media. Yeah, those things. Yeah, do all them, and we'll see you next time. All Bye. Right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Math is mental abuse to humans. Oh, yeah. I can see that. The Bible is basic instructions is before, before leaving Earth. Earth. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if God thought of that. Like. <laughs>